What's up, everybody? It's your boy Pinstrap Paragon, and welcome to Sly 2 Band of Thieves. So, it's been a long time since I LP'd Sly 1. Real long time. And, I mean, hell, I was in high school when I did that game. I'm in college. So, it's time to do the second game, I'd say. Um, now, this game is by far probably my favorite in the series. I know a lot of people tend to say, you know, Sly 3 was probably the best for them, but I just love Sly 2 so much. So I'm just going to start a new game. Oh! This is Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. Yeah, I hear you, Blizzard. You better be coming out with that Sombra soon. J just saying, this is, this is recorded, uh, you know, before Sombra was released. Because honestly, with the way I edit, by the time this comes out, Sombra will be out like on the live servers, not just on the PTR. But you never know. Now, how do you expect me to do that, pal? Hmm. Well, it's actually quite easy. I remember the first time I played this game, like, I had no idea I could jump on this thing. I was just, like, looking around, like, the whole area, and it was kind of sad. But, here we go. Mmm. That's pretty clutch. Pretty sketch, sly. Oh. You got this, bro. Bentley pulling up in the Bentley. Plot twist, he actually drives a Rari. Okay, okay. Let me at that security company. So yeah, there's really nothing we can do here. We can just kind of look around, just see how beautiful this game is. Like, yeah, this game's like PS2 era. I'm playing it on the PS triple. But, like, it still looks very good for its time. There goes the laser security system. Working on the security gate. So, yeah, uh, this is the game that got me into the Sly series. Um, I remember the commercials they used to play were like, you know, they would have the three kids or something, and like one of them would just have, you know, like the attributes of the characters from the game. Like, you know, one person would be hella smart, like Bentley, one person would be like hella strong, like Murray, and then the other person would just. Do stuff as sly so this is actually a really good area to get some coins in um, because it, this guard is like deaf I guess at least this used to be a good area for some coins there we go you'll definitely want some coins because in this game it's not quite you know how it was in sly one hold on I just you gotta hear Bentley right here So, uh, hold on, I'll explain what I was trying to explain in a minute. Just look at this art. Like, I'm pretty sure some of it's supposed to, like, reference the first game. Like, obviously, the Panda King, and, um, well, I guess some of these are just, like, concept art, you know? Got the frog. I don't, you know, I actually don't remember what the frog did. Well, there's Raleigh. I think that was his name. And then, uh. Nothing much here. Is there... What's on this painting? You, you can't really see it at all. Okay. Panda King. Uh, that's just the gang themselves. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and then just some other art. So anyway, the, I'll make sure I can show as much of it as I can. The coins are your currency in this game. Um, as... Seriously, what? What is this? Oh, that's his hat. I'm a dumbass. Um, so you're able to buy new abilities instead of earning them through finishing the levels because this game is quite different from the first game, which I like. I like this style of the game a lot better, personally. 
Um, so, yeah, just get as many coins as you can. Again, this is a pretty good area because we're going to need some that are required. Not... You really only have to buy, like, three or four throughout the entire game, I'm pretty sure. According to my information, the clockwork parts are being stored up there. Now, to get access, you're going to have to meet up with Murray at the rendezvous point. Unfortunately, the route through the garden is filled with guards. No problem. I'll just take the long way around. If memory serves, you need to jump and hit the circle button to run along ropes. Now, for a lot of games, you really should play the prequel before, like, seeing any of the sequel. But honestly, I feel like the Sly games, you can pretty much jump in wherever. Um, as Sly usually tells his entire backstory at the beginning of each game. I mean, I'm being for real, it's kind of annoying, you know. Don't get me wrong, I completely understand why they did it. But after playing through the games multiple times, I, I kind of know what happened. And I'm pretty sure I can skip it, but at the same time, not 100% sure. Oh, you can't see anything. You'll, you'll see why I tried looking up in just a second. It's Murray, everyone's favorite hungry, hungry hippo. Citizen, I hope you weren't harmed by my meteoropic entrance. No, Murray, I, I kept at a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe, only destruction. Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of yeah, bro. It is You're hella lit. You're like, uh. Murray. Hmm. What professional wrestler does he remind me of? I don't. I don't know. I'm just getting all the coins I can, because why not? Okay. All clear. Alright. I'm I'm through. Oh, you want me to get those coins, don't you? Too bad they're already gone. Okay. I feel like he's supposed to say something. I I don't know. Maybe that's later. There we go. Another barrier stands before you. Fear not, I shall bend it like the truth. So what I like about this, uh, like, intro to the game is it kind of shows you, you know, what Murray and Bentley can do. Because if you remember in the first game, you basically only controlled Sly, which, you know, made sense, Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. But at the same time, you know, it was like, it had so much potential just to add Murray and Bentley. I mean, yeah, you know, Murray had a couple sequences throughout the game, but they weren't really, like, exploring. Same with Bentley. He had, like, one moment to shine, I think. At the very end of the game, of course. I don't get it, Sly. The I'm gonna shut up here because this part's actually important to the story. We need to pull the plug on this operation right now! Freeze, Cooper. Inspector Fox. As beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable, you always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Oh, really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Comnita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts! Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! No! No, don't come after me. I haven't, I haven't done anything. I'm, I steal from the bad guys. So uh, yet again, another great place for coins. Like they are all over the place. And Constable Neela, honestly, is like, she's trying to play Reaper from afar. You know, she's just—it's not going to work. Like, she's a bronze level player at best. So luckily, there's nothing much here. But 
Carmel is still, you know, coming. Again, like, if you really wanted to, you could just, you know, continue to get all these coins. Like, this is just free money right here. And it's pretty nice, because, I mean, you do get a decent number of coins throughout the game. Uh, the only problem is, like, this is just so much. It takes a bit longer to get the coins because you have to end up doing various methods that were not in the first game and all that so luckily one good thing is that there are no lives I personally like that a lot because you know if you mess up a lot like I do sometimes then uh, you know you'll just waste your time and then you'll die so many times get a game over and then just be like when was the last time I saved? Then you realize you hadn't saved in a long time. Then you just get salty over all that, you know? But this game, there are no lives. You just kind of continue from where you died from. So, that's good. We're almost done with this intro, though, so that's awesome. Oh, my God, Neela, like, really, you are such a bad shot. I know it's kind of intended, but still, like... Get, get out of my face. You ain't got nothing on me, punk. Oh, yeah, you, you do have to jump off. I kind of wish, like, there were some moments that could have gone a lot, like, smoother. Like, you know, once you're done with the rope, just walk off. You don't have to jump, you know what I'm saying? It just seems like kind of a waste to me. And... Uh, we made it. Hallelujah. No, you won't. Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. And that constable Neela... Was a reference to the Claw Gang just a slip of the tongue? Or an intentional clue? Either way, it's her only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray, the brawn. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back. In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future, but I won't let it be a repeat of my past. So that is the beginning of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you will continue to watch the rest of the series. And later days.